Right, this is another little tip for those people that have to convert between file formats. Now at work I um, I use a PC and I've used PC for quite you know some some years and one of the biggest frustrations I have with the PC is its lack of support for different file formats. If you've ever got a conversion issue or you've got an incompatible issue it's going to be because of the file formats you're using and you've got to convert between them. Now one of these in particular is videos. Videos is one of those areas where if you have the wrong codec then uh, you can't watch it. So one of the cool programs I found on my Mac because um, I was downloading YouTube videos and one of the cool things that you can do is you can save your flash video file which is what YouTube uses uh, you can save your flash video file onto your computer somewhere and then you can convert it to anything you want basically um, typically MPEG tends to be the standard to go for QuickTime hasn't quite hit that yet although I'd like to see that take off a bit more um, but anyway one of the programs which I use is something called MPEG Stream Clip um, so if I open this program up so you can see it it's completely free, this is freeware, you can download this for, for nothing, it's for PC and Mac so don't think that it's just for Macs because it's not, it's for PCs as well. Um, so if you're stuck for some of your coursework or work or your homework then you can download this, install it and it's, it's pretty easy to use. I'm going to double click this. Now for you to be able to use flash video files and convert them in this um, you need to go to someone called Perion or Perion or whatever, however you say it, um, but there's a site called Perion.org um, and basically it's a plugin. So if I just show you where these sites are, there's two sites you need to go to. One is Squared5. Um, oh, sorry, it's late, very late. Um, so if I go into um, and type in and make MPEG stream clip. Oh, I've typed it all wrong because I'm tired. MPEG stream clip, there you go. And you can see it's squared5.com. Go there, download it for Mac or your Windows computer. That's cool. You can see it's quite common because it's been downloaded three scrolling times. Um, the other one is Perion.org. Um, again, that's just a plugin. Now, this is um, for a Mac, so I don't know how this will work on PC, but on a Mac, I've had to install this so I can open Flash videos. But anyway, um, I'll show you how to open the video. It's dead easy on a Mac anyway. All I do is I just drag my video into there and it just opens it. Now I can scroll through if I really need to. That's probably not the best one because you can't see any changes. If I open that one and scroll through, you'll see it doing something. So you can actually do a bit of a scrub, which is pretty cool. Um, but as well as that, you can also go to File and Export. Now you can export to all sorts of different formats. Um, I personally like MPEG-4 because that's what YouTube likes. When you're uploading videos, MPEG-4 tends to be the way to go. AVI is uh, <laughs> it's basically using an elephant to uh, record video. It's very good because it's a very raw format but it's very very cumbersome. Basically AVI's are interlaced audio video and it basically the file consists of a header and the rest of it is pure data. So I'll be very careful with AVI because it tends to be ten times the size of anything else. Um, so any anyway, all you can export to QuickTime if you really if you want to use Apple but um, that's only really useful if you've got a Mac because PCs have a problem with the reading QuickTime files. It has a real issue with decoding it. But anyway, um, something else you can do as well. If you found an advert, you can just take out the audio, which is dead, dead useful if you need to use an audio track in something. Um, but anyway, MPEG-4. You've got loads of different uh, things you can change before you actually um, save it as an MPEG-4. So you click on page 4, where do you want to save it to, stick it on the desktop, save, replace whatever's there, and it will go away and convert it, and it will start making this file for you. Um, now it's going to take a little while, as you can see it's, it's bobbing along quite quick, and that's only a 50 meg file it's converting, so 
to be fair, it's the size of this screen, and this screen sat at something like 1900 and some odd by 1200 and some odd, so it's, or 1600 and some odd, so it's quite a big file. But even so, you don't really want to sit here watching that converting. Um, the next thing which I thought was quite cool is ability to open and encode flash videos. Now, <clears throat> I'm going to download a flash video anyway, I'm just going to choose somebody else's. So, I have already gone to um, AJC show because I watch his videos, I think he's really good. So, let's just see that I'm going to download that video in FLV format, so I'm going to go up to uh, where was it? I found it before. Window activity, and that opens up this activity list. Now you can see all these things here are files I've uh, downloaded as part of this site. Um, all I look for is like 1.3k, 1.3k. Scroll down the bottom here, and suddenly you get one that says 1.6 meg. Um, normally the big files tend to be the video file. So if I double click that, that opens up a little window over here which is downloaded. Um, and then if I right click and go show in Finder, it shows it um, in the Finder. But I will have to find out where it is because I've just lost it completely. Uh, there it is there. So anyway, let's minimise all these windows out of the way. Now if I drag that file into there, that will then open his video. So as you can see straight away, I can scrub through that and I can do what I like. Now again, if I want to encode that, I've got a file, save as MPEG4, and I can then save it as whatever format I want, make MPEG4, save on the desktop, and that'll go away and convert that into an MPEG4 movie, which, you know, can be quite useful if you've found a decent video on the net about something and you want to stick it in your PowerPoint or something, uh, or into your movie maker to make a presentation then you can take someone else's video and, and refer to it for whatever reason so that's quite useful mpeg4 tends to be quite a safe bet to encode into because most things understand it um, just make sure you use the right the standard encoding algorithms but anyway yeah, that, that program's free mpeg um, I'll stick the links in the sidebar um, thought you might find it quite useful um, but remember it's um, MPEG stream clip from squared5.com and there's for the Mac for encoding the flash videos it's um, perion.org and that again that's just a free thing you can just install and just to show the file if I double click that that will open that up in a uh, quick time you get frustrated sometimes yes I get frustrated all the time mostly at work with people that piss me off with stupid problems um, and there you go, that file is encoded from um, whatever it was before, which in there is 1.6 meg, encoded it to 3.2 meg. Now it's not bad for an MPEG file. So, there you go. So, that's my tutorial for you. Well, it's not such a tutorial, it's just a tip really. Um, leave comments down below. Um, if you've got any other cool programs which are free and do cool things, or make a life easier somewhere, then let me know. Thank you.